So let me extend using the same sample. Okay. Now we are actually returning a function in my previous example. Okay, so let me remove this for our clarity. Okay, so now I can have something like this. Uh, I have the difference here. So what I can say is I want to have this one directly assigned to this one. but without the name okay and oh, of course I wanted to have so this is still possible okay we know that right so we have anonymous functions we discussed in our previous session so anonymous functions means the functions which do not have any name and those are declared in the form of an expression and at the same time they can be used as part of the statement itself Okay, so the previous example can be rewritten in this way as well, if you don't want to name it. Okay, but I am going to have something more interesting. So, I am saying that something like this one now. Okay, so this is way different from whatever we did earlier. Okay, now let us see how to execute this function. First of all, I call do process. And now I call to 10 and 20. Okay. So let me have VR A equal to something like this one. Okay. So now I call A. So is this correct? That, that is correct. So in this case we are saying like 10 comma 20 needs to be passed in here and then display sum needs to be executed and we are sure that the sum will be getting executed. And whenever I am going to call the nest function which means a which is indirectly having this function okay this function is expecting two parameters a and b for which I am not passing those two. That will be resulting in an error actually. Yes, so we need to pass, in order to get this one executed, I need to pass something like this. Okay, so in this case, you know, you are deviating from previous data what the outer function has been executing it. That's correct. So, now let us try to execute this one. Sum, and now the difference will be working. Okay. So just for our change, let me change this for a second. Yes, we gave the two values in the same way. So this is supposed to show minus 20 and now we can see minus 20. Okay. Now let us extend this a bit further. Now I say something like this one. Okay. And I don't want to call any of this stuff. I simply call something like this one. And I wanted to call something like 10, 20, 20, and I would like to have 30, and I would like to have 40, and I would like to have 50. So there is something strange happening here. First of all, I'm calling do process. It goes in here. And next, I am having 10 and 20 as usual, and it is executing display sum, which means I am going to get sum, no doubt. And after that, you are saying that a function, this, a, this is a new function which basically works with a difference. So it processes the difference of two numbers, and I am saying that this function needs to be assigned to something called do process. Uh, uh, yeah, but in this case, it is not really returning it. It is the reassigning the definition of do process to a new function. So, which means earlier do process means it has got display sum and something else and something else. But once this statement has been executed, do process is redefined with this new function and it has lost all of its old capabilities. 
okay now the do process from now onwards would always be having only this function forever okay so in this case if i execute this guy in this case it is going to show us sum okay but in this case it's going to show us what difference and what's going to be the next one this is also going to be difference and difference forever why because so it has been reassigned to the new definition and it stays there forever okay so in that way you can have the same function but it works something like the same function working first time in a different way and the successive or consecutive times it works in a different way so this in this way we can have the functions with some kind of initialization happening and again if you call the same function subsequently it will be having a different logic to be executed forever okay so now if i go here so i'm going to have some here and as you can see i have the difference and we are always going to have difference now okay so this is how you know we can have the inner functions to be directly assigned to the outer functions so which means this is an inner function but it is directly being assigned to the outer function called do process okay so earlier in my previous example we are actually returning the inner functions to outer other than the outer function basically it is returning beyond the scope of the outer function basically but in this case we are not really uh, you know returning this function we are saying that this function needs to be assigned directly to the outer function okay so that is the major difference between you know inner function outer function and at the same time functions being returned okay